Well, YouTube, I have an epic fail to show you. Last night, um, I was trying to relieve the stress off of the box. I have all of my 18650s sitting in because, you know, it's starting to bulge out the sides. So I threw some in my case just to help out with that pressure relief. Okay, let's uh, get to it. <laughs> and I ran into an epic fail. Okay, so, I mean, the good news is that it does hold almost 300 cells on the, on the rack by itself. This one is one of my original cell holders that I built, uh, actually, and this one too. But the new ones that I just built, every little missing spot that you see here, no worky, no worky, no worky, no worky, no worky, fail, 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 fail. So of course your next question is, you know, there's different thicknesses of heat shrink. Well, that's true. I found that these green ones are really, really thin. Fail, 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 epic fail. So yeah, let me show you the next drawer down. Yeah, so <laughs> every place that you don't see a battery, is is just a huge fail they just no work oh that one fits fail 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 epic fail so uh, i'm guessing i got pretty lucky on that first uh, pvc pipe that i had um that the wall thickness was the same and proportional throughout the entire thing the next uh two pipes that i cut up you know the other day the wall thickness is too thick so i guess it is what it is if i really really wanted to to fix this, I could probably get a three quarter or 18 millimeter drill bit and just kind of slightly bore these out a little bit. But that's again, more time and effort. So I just wanted to show you if somebody happened to be trying to build something like I am, you know, the thought and theory is, is all there, but yeah, I guess I forgot to take into account that the wall thickness would not be the same. Epic fail. So yeah. I guess I'll probably be, I don't know, we'll see. I'll see if I can find a drill bit and maybe give it a try since I've already made six of them and I've got a whole bunch more already cut in the box. And if it's too much effort, then I'll just scrap this idea. If I had like a 3D printer, of course, you know, I could just print my own, but I don't have one of those. I uh, can't afford one either. So if I don't go with these, I'll probably go with, of course, the same old plastic things that everybody else is using, which is, which is fine. And I mean, I do like these and they're nice and compact. I could probably fit more cells on a drawer if, if the weight can handle it. And if I need to remove a cell, of course, I'll just break off the little plastic deals and push the cell right out. I was really hoping to go with this idea because, well, I mean, you know, I thought it looked kind of cool and, you know, the spacing for heat, if there is a lot of heat, I don't know yet. So I just wanted to show you guys my epic fail here and I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep using these or not. And of course these, you can get, you know, the, the five by four pack. Actually, I think off of uh, DIY Powerwall forums, they've got a, a 10 pack, I think, for like 34 bucks. It says eBay on it, but it takes me to an Amazon site. I guess uh, I'm not sure if it's an affiliate account or an eBay account. If we're trying to use somebody's affiliate account, I mean, that's, that's great and all. I mean, I have my own affiliate account. I get how it works. So, I mean, I don't have any problem of using somebody else's affiliate account just uh, to help because they get a little bit of percentage off of whatever you buy. Also, if you didn't know with these affiliate accounts, that's what everybody has on the bottom of their YouTube page, just like mine. If you have an affiliate account, you get a small percentage of whatever somebody else buys. Even if they don't buy the thing that they clicked on, if they don't click on anybody else's affiliate account within 24 hours, whatever they buy in that 24 hour time period, you get a percentage of it. So, I mean, that's great. And I hope people understand that. I think it's a great idea. If, I, if I'm gonna buy something off of Amazon, I try to use somebody else's affiliate account so they get a little bit of a cut. 
And that's why I have my links down in the bottom of my YouTube videos because it's affiliate account and if you do buy something I get just a small, small, tiny, tiny portion. It's really not much until you, I guess, get a crap load of people buying stuff. I don't have a crap load of people buying stuff. I might get like two to like 18 and total off of the affiliate account I've made maybe 20 bucks and that's in the last couple of months. So yeah, anyway, I forget what I'm what the original video was and I start talking and rambling. So yeah, epic fail here. Um, it may be salvageable. I don't know yet. So we'll see. Still trying to get used to these shells because they have locks on them and I'm not sure exactly how to always undo the lock. It's kind of weird. I don't know if but like one side will go and the other side won't. You know, I might have to make a slight adjustment to these shelves so they don't lock. Because I mean they don't they don't really move on their own so I don't have a problem with it not locking. But anyway, I mean, that's a nice view of what it's going to look like. But on a brighter note, insert foot in mouth. Because I just got done saying that these green cells um, are really crap. And I mean, they're just above 2,000 each. But these are not those uh, Fukushima ones. These have, uh, well, yeah, you can't see that, but they, I don't know, they have a number on them, but they're not the Fukushima ones. So every time I find a Fukushima one, I'm setting it up there next to a blue one because the Fukushima ones are the bad ones. These other green ones, I don't know what they are. They're just, they say SF and then US18650 GR and then a number below that. So these ones are, well, they're, I mean, they're turning up to be above 2,000. So yeah, I just might make my 1,400 mark. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, um, um, I'm not sure exactly. Um, uh, and. Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for visiting my channel. And if you liked the video that you just saw, take a look at my channel for some more videos and projects that I have going on. So making some of the past videos, I have noticed some problems I'm having with my cameras, especially in like low light or trying to get up close and personal with something. Basically what I'm saying is the cameras, they're not really doing what I need them to do anymore on this channel. So if you guys like the videos that I'm making here, Maybe you would be interested in helping me purchase a new camera so I can uh, make some better quality videos. And if you do want to do that, I have two links down below. Thanks in advance, and I appreciate everything that you guys do for helping me out. All right, we'll see you guys later.